The Home Health Quality Improvement National Campaign welcomes you to Diabetes and Your Heart. In this video, we will talk about diabetes and the increased risk for heart and blood vessel disease, or what your doctor or nurse may call cardiovascular disease. The most common types of diabetes in adults are called type 1 and type 2. Type 1 occurs when the pancreas stops making insulin or makes too little insulin. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form affecting adults. The pancreas does not make enough insulin or the body can't use the insulin well in type 2 diabetes. Most of the food you eat turns into sugar called glucose, and your body uses that sugar as energy. When you have type 2 diabetes, your body does not produce enough insulin to use all the sugar, and the extra sugar stays in the blood, causing blood sugar levels to be higher than normal. When blood sugar levels stay high over a long time, this can cause serious health problems, including heart disease, blindness, kidney failure, and can even lead to the need to amputate toes, feet, or legs. The main goal in treating diabetes is to control your blood sugar levels and keep them in the normal range. Controlling your diabetes can be hard, but it can be done with proper management. Heart attacks and strokes are more likely to happen in someone with diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes. Heart disease and strokes are the number one cause of death and disability among people with type 2 diabetes. Adults with diabetes are two to four times more likely to have heart disease or a stroke than adults without diabetes. So how does diabetes affect your heart and blood vessels? Uncontrolled sugar levels damage the inside of blood vessels. This allows plaque to build up and narrow or block the flow of blood in the arteries that supply blood to your heart. If the blood supply is blocked, the heart muscle cannot get the oxygen it needs, which causes that part of the muscle to die. This is a heart attack. When you have diabetes, other problems can happen to increase your chance for heart disease. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is a major risk factor for heart disease. Diabetes can damage arteries, making them harden, which makes the heart have to work harder. This leads to high blood pressure. People with both diabetes and high blood pressure double their risk for heart disease. Keeping your blood pressure and your blood sugar levels in normal ranges will decrease your risk of heart disease. People with uncontrolled diabetes also tend to have high cholesterol levels. High cholesterol can cause blockage in your blood vessels, leading to a heart attack or even a stroke. Have you had your cholesterol levels checked within the past year? Find out what your cholesterol levels are, and if they're high, learn what you can do to lower those numbers. Diabetes can also cause you to be overweight. If you're overweight, your heart has to pump harder, which adds to heart disease. If you keep your blood sugar levels in control, this will help you maintain a healthy weight. There are a lot of resources available to help you learn how to make a heart-healthy eating plan. Talk to your nurse or a dietitian about ways to be a healthier eater. Finally, all smokers are at a higher risk for heart disease even if they do not have diabetes. People with diabetes who smoke are more likely than non-smokers to have trouble controlling their disease. Diabetics who smoke have a much higher risk for heart disease and diabetic problems, such as kidney disease, poor blood flow in the legs and feet, eye disease that can cause blindness, and damage to the nerves in the arms and legs. Talk to your nurse, therapist, or doctor about how to stop smoking or to avoid being around secondhand smoke. The American Heart Association considers diabetes to be one of the seven major controllable risk factors for cardiovascular disease. So, what do you think about the link between diabetes and your heart? Do you find it surprising? Now that you know these facts, I hope you'll do more to keep your diabetes under control, which will lower some of the risk factors for heart attacks and strokes. There are lots of resources available to help you, like pamphlets, videos, and workbooks. Ask your nurse or therapist to give you some education sheets or the My Diabetes Education Workbook that is available for free from HHQI. These tools can help you make a plan to better manage your diabetes at home. Please talk to your nurse or doctor about better managing your diabetes and making changes in your life to lower your risk for heart disease. Thank you for watching Diabetes and Your Heart.
We hope that you learned a lot of information about diabetes and the risks for heart attack and stroke.